Saturday, May 27th, 2023, evening edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. First, this day in history. 1120, Richard III of Capua is anointed as prince two weeks before his untimely death. 1644, Manchu Regent Dorgon defeats rebel leader Li Zicheng of the Shun Dynasty at the Battle of Shanghai Pass, allowing the Manchus to enter and conquer the capital city of Beijing. 1798, the Battle of Ullard Hill takes place in Wexford, Ireland. Irish rebel leaders defeat and kill a detachment of militia. Today's obituaries. French Changim, 85, Seychellois. Anglican clergyman, Archbishop of the Indian Ocean, 1984-1995. Roberto Ciccio Messere, 76, Italian politician, EMEP, 1984-1989. K. B. Cobb, 81, American jurist and politician, Justice of the Supreme Court of Mississippi, 1999-2007, and member of the Mississippi State Senate, 1992-1996. And now on to today's news, business news. Massive Tesla data leak reveals thousands of alleged safety complaints. The Guardian. The AI summary of this story. Tesla has failed to protect data from customers, employees, and business partners, as well as receiving thousands of complaints regarding driver assistance systems, according to a report by Germany's Handelsblatt citing leaks from a whistleblower. The leaked data includes private emails, phone numbers, salaries, bank details, and even Elon Musk's social security number, violating GDPR. The Data Protection Office in Brandenburg described the leak as massive. The breach could lead to a fine of up to 4% of annual sales or 3.26 billion euros, $3.5 billion if proven. The files also revealed numerous customer complaints about Tesla's driver assistance programs. J.D. Vance says Target decided to wage war on customers with Pride Month collection. The Hill. AI summary of this story. Conservative Republican lawmakers in the U.S. have expressed their anger with Target over its annual Pride Month collection that includes LGBTQ merchandise, including face masks, clothing, and outdoor cushions. Senator J.D. Vance, R. Ohio, tweeted, Target could have decided to stay out of the culture wars. Instead, it decided to wage war on a large share of its customer base. Other conservatives, including reps, Marjorie Taylor Greene, R. Gado, and Lauren Boebert, R. Colo, have called for a boycott of the retail giant. Target said it would be removing certain items due to customers knocking down pride displays, angry confrontations, and threatening videos posted on social media. Science News. Rhythmically stimulating the brain with electrical currents could boost cognitive function, according to analysis of over 100 studies. SciPost. AI summary of this story. Brain stimulation technology called transcranial alternating current stimulation, TAX, is being studied for its potential to enhance mental functions, from improving attention in high-stakes environments to reviving memory in people with dementia. Birds can switch their perception of Earth's magnetic field on and off. Earth.com, AI summary of this story, but also biologists who study animal navigation and migration patterns. A recent study by researchers at Western's Advanced Facility for Avian Research has revealed that migratory birds have the ability to activate a brain region called Cluster N, which enables them to perceive Earth's magnetic field. The study focused on white-throated sparrows and found that the region was activated flexibly, allowing birds to process or ignore geomagnetic information depending on their motivation to migrate. The research highlights the importance of understanding specific brain functions that allow animal navigation and perception to minimize human impact on migration patterns. Now a poem about today's science news. O oh, fair and wondrous nature, how thou dost amaze, with tricks and secrets hidden deep in thy maze, of birds that switch their perception of the Earth's magnetic field and the rhythm that can cognitive function yield. Electric currents pulsating through the mind, a boost to thought and memory oh so kind. Over a hundred studies doth profess the benefits of this rhythmic process. Oh, how the mind is a curious thing, and nature with her ways doth joyfully sing. From birds to brains, these wonders we celebrate, with humbled minds and hearts we contemplate. Health News. What to know about body dysmorphia, the condition affecting Megan Fox, CNN. 
AI summary of this story, Megan Fox revealed in a Sports Illustrated interview that she is one of the estimated 5 million to 10 million Americans who suffer from body dysmorphia. The actor said she never loved her body and has struggled with an obsession about how her body should look from a young age. Body dysmorphia is characterized by an excessive preoccupation with an imagined defect or slight physical anomaly and is not based on how people actually look. Entertainment news. Little Mermaid singing loudly with $125 million Memorial Day weekend opening. Friday update. Deadline. Kanye v. Adidas update. $75 million Yeezy asset freeze overturned by Judge Billboard. Celine Dion diagnosed with stiff person syndrome, a neurological disorder. The Washington Post. Now a poem about today's entertainment news. Oh, the mermaid, fair and bright, her singing voice a wondrous sight, her movie makes the masses cheer, with dollar 125M in Memorial Day gear. But on the news, another tale, of Kanye and Adidas's legal trail, a frozen asset worth 75, overturned by a judge's strive. And yet another saddening news, of Celine with her ailments blues, stiff person syndrome takes a hold, a neurological illness to unfold. Three stories, each a varied kind, with joys and sorrows intertwined. May we enjoy the good and pray for the bad, and cherish the moments we've ever had. Now a silly joke or two, to lighten the mood after all the heavy stuff. What kind of pants do ghosts wear? Boo jeans. Dad, I'm hungry. Hello, hungry. I'm Dad. Hope you enjoyed today's Artificial Intelligence Generated News Digest. For more, please like, subscribe, hit the bell button to activate notifications, and make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.